It was Tuesday at The Hague and a day when Louis Moreno Ocampo would deliver a special message to the Kenyan people, this being his final address as the International Criminal Court Prosecutor. I like to say personally goodbye to the Kenyan people as the prosecutor. I'm leaving tomorrow. For me, it was an honor, a privilege to work for you. And we are in the middle of a long journey. Justice will not go away. The new prosecutor will conduct the trial. Thank you very much for all your support. He would leave the podium having completed his nine-year term as the ICC prosecutor. My name is Luis Moreno Campo. I was born in Argentina. A man who just a few years back, in 2010, was little known. His only precedent then, the promise of justice by a court higher than the Kenyan one. I remember the first time the now former ICC prosecutor made headlines. And here at the Citizen TV newsroom, we struggled with the pronunciation of his name. Is it Louis? Is it Louis? Is it Louis? A relatively new name in our newsroom and to the general public that soon became a household name. He will be remembered internationally as the Argentine lawyer who was appointed unopposed as the first prosecutor of the International Criminal Court back in April 2003 and who opened investigations into seven situations in Africa. Prosecutor, you can say uh, Jumbo, it's the local uh, word for uh, hello. Jumbo? Jumbo, yeah. Wait, are you sure? Yes, you can say Jumbo and everybody will answer Jumbo Sana. It will be nice. Jumbo Sana. The Democratic Republic of Congo. Uganda, the Central African Republic, Darfur, Sudan, Kenya, Libya, and Côte d'Ivoire. But for Kenya, he will be remembered not only as the face of the ICC, but as the face of justice. He has profiled the International Criminal Court perhaps more than any other prosecutor would have done. Why? Because Ocampo has been more of a political player, a political commentator. He has mixed the legal and professional work as a prosecutor with uh, <coughs> contextual and political comments. And that's why, for example, in the Kenyan case, you'll hear Mr. Ocampo saying that uh, he is looking forward to peaceful elections, for example. That is not his job. Winnie. Hope you win. And that is why a 36-year-old mother of three in Kenya's informal settlement, Kibera, gave birth to her last-born son and decided to give him a unique and, to her, relevant name. And so he exits from his prosecutor's role, a role in reflection many say was not a successful one, seeing that he left only a single conviction. To the sexual violence perpetrated by Thomas Lubanga men. Allowing the entry of his successor, Fatou Bensouda, Friday. A 51-year-old who had served as Ocampo's deputy since she was picked by the Assembly of State Parties of the Rome Statute in 2004 solemnly undertake that I will perform and who has continued to work closely with him Fatu will be the lawyer in, in the all case. of the seven African cases including Kenya's and Fatu is great with a witness no, really Fatu is like a mother inviting the children to talk and as she signs into her role as the new face of international justice, Fatou Bensouda, who served as Attorney General in Gambia during its not-so-democratic period, hopes to prove herself as a worthy successor. First of all, Africa hopes that she will approach things in such a way that, according to the what African states think is the right thing, uh, she will approach them that way. But then the, the rest of the world is looking at her and saying, now, Africa... You've been complaining you, this court is uh, an imperial, a, a tool of imperialism. One of your own is the prosecutor. How she balances that is going to be very difficult. We should not be guided by words and propaganda of a few influential individuals whose sole aim is to evade justice. But rather, we should focus on and listen to the millions of victims who continue to suffer massive crime. Exit Ocampo. Enter Bensuda, 
A change of guard, many hope, will not interfere with the ICC process, even as Kenya awaits the ruling of the trial dates expected in July. Evelyn Wamboy, Sunday Live.